day by day I'm motivated mostly I think by challenge. I think there is little as challenging as the biggest problem humanity has ever faced, which is climate change. There is a certain amount of CO2 we are allowed to emit to the atmosphere in order to limit global warming to 1.5 degree. Some researchers say we passed it already, some are saying we are passing it at the moment, and some say we have a couple of years left. We have to do everything we can in order to stop emitting and everything we can in order to remove CO2 back out of the air. What if we had a technology to stop climate change? In order to remove carbon from the atmosphere, you need to do two things. You need a machine that filters CO2 out of the air, and you need a safe and permanent storage space. Here in Iceland, there are basaltic rock formations, and they can very easily store CO2. You can inject CO2, the CO2 reacts with these rock formations and becomes solid carbonate one kilometer underground. If we think of where all the CO2 came from, it came from underground, right? Fossil oil or from fossil gas. We've opened these reservoirs, taking the carbon out, and now we are basically putting the carbon back into the ground. Our technology can be used to go backwards, not only to stop climate change, but to reverse climate change. We have set our vision to capture 1% of global emissions in 2025 in order to limit global warming to reasonable levels. Change only happens if you show solutions. Change won't happen by simply talking about potential solutions. There are ways to act. So we can act and we can do something about it. We want to spread this word and we want others to join us.